All right, folks, let's go get started right here with the swimmer. So you're bringing your hand in front of you, thumb comes down, hand in front, thumb comes down, and we're swimming, and we're swimming, and we're swimming, and we're swimming. And just keep going with the arms right here. Ah, very commonly, people complain of neck pain. Most neck pain doesn't come from your neck. It comes from your upper back. And the reason your upper back is out of place is because your shoulders are in a poor position. Why are your shoulders in a poor position? Well, your mid back's in a poor position, which means your pelvis is in a poor position, which means you everything is completely off. How sad. Luckily, folks, there's a secret, an ancient Chinese 5,000-year-old secret that will fix all your problems and stop. Okay, here we go, circles. Sounds pretty good, huh? Chinese secret, 5,000 years old, solve all your problems, and switch directions with the hips for making circles. Ah, it's actually a mystery, and it is called standing up. All right, we're going to go side to side, left and right and right and left side to side with the hips. We're going to work on standing today. You'll notice there's no mat, there will be no laying, there will be no sitting. We are going to be standing, folks. Learning how to stand properly can solve all of your problems. Interesting, huh? All right, we're going to bend our knees, feet together, and we're going to go circles. You see, back in the ancient Eastern days, they used to do a lot of what's called standing meditation, working on your standing position. If you get really good at standing, you become very efficient with your body weight. Okay, now let's go heels and toes up and down. If you become efficient with your body weight, that means that thing called gravity transferring through your body with great ease, you move around gracefully. Ah. Up and down, let's go up and down. I know, a lot of talking in the beginning today. What's up, folks? It is core, cardio, and deep stretching. No standing or sitting. We do everything standing up. I think I said standing twice. Okay, let's go side to side. So right and left and right and left. Also, since it's Wacky Wild Wednesdays, it is going to be a 29-minute and 30-second workout. Try to do the whole thing. And I'm going to add the arms. And up and down with the arms, up and down with the arms, up and down with the arms, up and down, up and down. I want to do about 17 minutes of cardio and 12 minutes of stretching. You may not care, but I told you anyways. I'm just full of sarcasm today. All right, so standing together, right leg up, left leg up, right leg up, left leg up, right, left, right, left, right. Up and down, let's go get those high knees up. Now, you're probably not wondering, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Man, that sarcasm is on today. I'm going to tell you anyways, how do you work your core standing up? Well, funny that you ask. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, stop. Here's how you work your core standing up, right? You can suck in your stomach, right? Do it. Suck in your stomach, good. But the real way to work your core standing up is to get into a position where you're a little off balance. So I'm going to shift my weight. We're going to shift our weight into our left foot. Don't lift your right, don't, don't lift your right foot yet. I want you to squeeze your abs. I want you to imagine lifting up with your stomach, lifting your foot off, and get really stable. Okay? Feeling stable? Now this, this right leg is going to come forward and touch, back and touch. Forward and touch, back and touch. So my core, what it's doing right here, is it's keeping me from swaying side to side. So if you look at me, this would be like a very unstable core side to side. So I'm here locked in, just not moving my upper body. Okay, good, switching legs, so get real stable on that right leg, your core muscles, forward and backwards. Forward and backwards that leg, holding steady. My marching band teacher used to say, it should look like a duck on a pond. The duck on top of the pond looks like it's moving slow and gracefully, but underneath its legs are turning really fast. So my core muscles holding me steady, so while my legs are moving underneath me, my upper body doesn't move at all. That's how you work your core standing up. All right, so we're gonna go side to side here. So we did this yesterday, kick and kick and kick and kick. Focus on your core. Get that nice, tall, long posture. If you ever watch ballet dancers, how their upper bodies are so graceful and light, super strong core muscles, even when they're doing jumping 360s. All right, let's go ahead and speed it up. Ready with me and kick and kick and kick and kick and add the arms, add the arms. Add the arms. So your core muscles, today's a lot of talking folks, you gotta listen to me. Your core muscles, while you stand, 
we're going to engage them, and that's going to hold our body in a better position, take pressure off our pelvis, mid-back, neck, and shoulders. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, I know. All right, now watch me. We're going to go across and kick, and kick across, and kick across, kick across, kick across, kick across, kick across. Now, since we're using our core muscles, squeeze your abs, lift your hips, core, and core, come in across, and cross. We're going to add the arms. Kick, and kick, and kick, and kick, and warm up complete. Ah. All right, hands out this way, palms up. A little standing lesson. You're gonna hold your arms like this to get a good stretches. Your feet, neutral stance, so they're shoulder width apart. I'm gonna slightly bend my knees here. You always wanna have your knees slightly bent. I'm going to tuck my hips underneath just a little bit, not a really, watch me from the side. Oh God, I almost knocked the background over. Not an aggressive tuck, just a little bit of a tuck. I wanna feel like there's a string pulling on my head, lifting me nice and tall. I wanna send energy into my feet. So I feel my feet, I'm lifted up, I'm holding. Check your lower back, should be free of tension. Check your neck, also free of tension. Put your arms down and we're standing. Ah. So one of the Tai Chi, 48 minutes standing in one place with our arms out like this, perfect posture. That's not today's workout, but I want you to notice when you're standing here, your knees are slightly bent, you've got that nice lift. There's no pressure on your back. My neck is free. A lot of the issues, folks, come from positions when we're not standing, aka sitting, I know. <sighs> All right, let's let go of that. We're gonna do some tummy tucks, you ready? Here we go. Exhale the air out, and then suck your stomach as much as you can. <laughs> suck in, suck in, suck in, suck in. More, more, and relax. If you wanna get a little more, you can kind of bend over at the waist, okay? So bend over the waist, exhale. Suck in your stomachs and go. And relax. Did you pass out? Okay, very nice. Ah. All right, you ready folks? Time to step our game up with some coordination cardio. All right, we're gonna start going to the right here. You can take your left foot, you're gonna cross in front. We've been working on this one. You're gonna cross in front, so cross. Open, both legs are apart and then I'm bringing my left foot to my right foot together. Now going the other way, you're going to open up, so left foot step, cross in front, right? Open step, together. So open, cross, open, together. Open, cross, open, together. If you've got it, go ahead and start. I'm gonna break it down again. Open, cross in front, open, together. Open, cross in front, open, together, okay? Here we go, and one, two, Ready, go, and open, cross, open together. Open, cross, open together. Open, cross, open together. Open, cross, open together. Open, cross. All right, folks, put the timer on. Keep moving your legs no matter what. If someone walked and saw you working out right now, they'd be like, what is that person doing? And you'll be like, I'm learning how to work out, learn how to coordinate, learn how to line dance. All right, if you wanna go faster, bop, 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 bop. Go ahead, start speeding up. I know you're slacking over there, come on. Let's go. Side to side, side to side. All right, keep working. But now while we do this, we're gonna put our right arm in the air and our left arm is gonna be down. I look like a weird scarecrow. My right arm is up, my left arm's down, and I'm still crossing my feet. Speed it up. Good. Now engage your core muscles. Good, keep crossing those legs. Remember the step. Open, cross, open together, open, cross, open together. Now don't stop your feet and you're going to switch your arms. Don't stop your feet. And you're gonna switch your arms. Ooh, that was tricky. So now my left arm is up, my right arm is down. Ah, sorry, I'm not mirroring. Doesn't necessarily matter. Keep going, and open, cross, open together. Now what you're gonna do, I want everyone to try this. You're gonna be able to do it, I promise. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Is I'm gonna, every time I get to one side, I'm gonna switch my hands. So open, cross, open together, switch. Open, cross, open together, switch. Open, cross, open, switch. Open, cross, open, switch. Open, cross, open, switch. Open, cross, open. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Cry. Switch. Switch. I just messed up. Switch. Okay, now go to your own pace. Oh man, 
Open, cross, open, switch. Open, cross, open, together, switch. Open, cross, open. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Come on, I got my heart rate up to 115. You know you feeling it. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna work out the same position with the hands. This right here. So my left arm is up, my right arm is down. Two 90 degree angles. Nice and tall, bend the knees. Switch the hands. Switch and switch and switch and switch. This is just a great one for the nerves in your shoulders and your neck and your neck. And we're gonna go back to the kicks, okay? So when my right arm is up, or excuse me, my left arm is up, I'm gonna kick out. You see that? So my left arm's up, left leg kick. Kick, so it's the same side. Left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. Left and right, boom. Up and up. Now when you do this, you wanna make sure you look extremely weird, and then you wanna face forward, lift your core muscles up, my arms are already on fire. So open, kick, switch your arms with the kick and kick. Kick, 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 kick. Come on, speed it up, let's go. <laughs> Cannot make this stuff up, folks. It's too good. Kicking, 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 kicking. Three, two, and one. Relax. Breathe. Had a moment of distraction. The dog just broke into the house. Ah, breathe, 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 breathe. We're coordinating, folks. We're challenging ourselves in new ways. Okay. Up next, the pivots. So feet are shoulder width apart. Arms are out straight. Okay, we're starting a neutral stance. Okay, we're gonna go into squat stance, into straddle. So our feet are two, two steps apart, arms are out like a T. We're gonna twist to the left, twisting to the left, pivot on the toe, or sorry, twisting, twisting to the right, pivoting on your left toe, reaching out the left arm, nice long line from my toe to my finger, pivoting through the center, so pulling back, and pivot. If you know pivots, just go ahead and start, and pivot and pivot, and pivot, and pivot. So as I'm twisting, right, there's two things I wanna focus on. One, make sure my hip is turning. And the way to turn that hip is, number two thing to focus on, my heel is gonna come up, and they call it turning your heel over, so my heel is turning over, and I mean these nice long pivots, and no abs, and abs, okay? And then go ahead, start to speed up, twist, and twist, and twist. Make sure when you speed up, you're still turning your hips all the way around. Okay, out. Want to make my martial arts teacher happy. Let's go. Twist and twist and twist, twist, twist. Good. Speed it up. Speed it up. I know you're not going fast enough. Let's go. Speed it up. It's five. Let's go. Speed, 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 speed. Four. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Three. Two, and relax, breathe. Ah, should we bring the dog in for a shot, come here? Come on, Abs, come here. Look everyone, a doggy. oh, so cute. Okay, all right, that's enough of you. Don't like no, I don't, okay, nice. Ah, all right, we're gonna do some running in place, okay? So we did this a dance party. It's all about tempo, right? So I'm gonna start with my Right foot, I'm gonna go step in, step in, step in, step in, step. So this is, if I'm going step in, step in, step in, step in, step, it's kind of like a march, right? Well, it is a march. I need to go a little faster to run, so boom, 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 boom. There you go, that's a good tempo. All right, so get those legs moving. Now I want you to get your arms going, okay? So it's the opposite arm. So when my right knee comes up, left arm, left knee right arm, boom. Just keep running. Just, you shouldn't have to think about it too much, but you should have to think about it a little bit. Okay, now let's go back to our standing posture. Ancient Chinese secret of, of, of standing. Get that nice tall posture. Core engage, lifting your feet. And we're running, 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 running. All right, while we're running, we're breathing. If you're more advanced, we're speeding up. Hit and hit and hit cross, hit cross, hit cross, hit cross, hit cross, hit cross. If you watched yesterday's upper body strength training video, I talked about speed. I love being fast. You should love being fast too. You can do it. 
you can always get faster, 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 faster. Run, run, run. You tired yet? You shouldn't be tired. Let's go. Breathe, breathe. No running, 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 running. Go. All right, here we go. Let's speed it up. Last 10 seconds. Go. Sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and confetti. Breathe. Ah. Ah, breathe, breathe. All right, I wanna get one more. Got a heart rate up. Since we didn't do combat cardio last week, let's go ahead, we're gonna set up in our martial arts stance. So start feet with neutral, neutral stance, shoulders apart, one, one stride length apart, squat stance, two squ uh, stride lengths apart, straddle three stride lengths is horse, that's where we wanna be, wide, bend your knees, Shoulder blades back, okay? Starting with the right arm and punch. Switching arms, punch, switching arms, punch. Keep going at your own pace, punch, and punch, and punch, and keep going. Okay. The reason I like this position, right, horse, first of all, it's a good standing posture. It allows my back to be relaxed. I'm getting a little bit of leg workout, but it makes for great room for my shoulders, okay? All right, I'm gonna set the clock, let's go. Punch, punch. Start speeding it up. And speed, and speed, and speed. You gotta go at your own pace today, folks. Come on, let's go speed it up. Let's go punch, 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 punch. Jump, 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 Yes, punch, punch. Good, you're feeling real good. Let's go. Wow, 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 wow. Flow it out, let's go, flow it out. All right, I'm gonna give us 10 seconds here. When I say go, we're gonna go as fast as we can. And go. Yeah, you called me out. I'm not going as fast as I can. Three, two, and one. Ah, breathe. Good. <clears throat> Did I say the last cardio one? All right. I think that was the last cardio one. Breathe. Breathe. I got to call off. <clears throat> All right. Standing, 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 standing. Okay. If you now, sorry, people, I've been doing the whole workout. If you have just joined in this video right now, this is the standing stretch series, how to stretch standing up. Standing itself is a stretch, folks, okay? So let's go over how to stand. I know, sort of odd, huh? I'm gonna turn so you guys can see me. I'm in neutral stance. I'm gonna bend my knees. I'm going to tuck my hips a little, not a posterior, not a super aggressive tuck, just a little. And I wanna feel my feet. Where's my weight? Is it on my heels? Is it on my toes? Is it somewhere in the middle? Keep feeling your feet with a gentle tuck. Knees are bent. I want you to imagine there's a string on your middle back pulling you up. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Good. Get that nice lift. Don't flare your ribs. Like court. Don't get a pat proud chest. Just here lifting. Take your arms. Bring them away from you. They call it having space in your armpits. So feel some space in your armpits. Oh my God, standing so complicated, yes. Good, some space in the armpits. Then relax the arms, but still keep them engaged. Don't, don't flop them down, squeezing in, just engaged. Okay, last but not least is our chin and you want your head, not forward, not back, comfortably in the middle. You want your gaze up. Okay, hold, breathe. You just hold and breathe. Feel that marvelous standing. I'm gonna review from the bottom up, okay? My feet, I'm feeling them. I got toes and heels. My knees are bent. My hips are gently tucked. There's a string pulling my mid back up. There's a little space in my armpits and my jaw is relaxed. Perfect standing posture. <sighs> Breathe. Right now, you're stretching. Oh, interesting. You're not getting this very excessive muscle pull but that's good because this kind of stretching when done, aka standing more often, will have a permanent lasting effect. Whereas when we stretch, you get this temporary relief, yes, which is important, but it's not permanent. That's why you don't stay flexible. If I stay standing, I'm gonna get this nice standing flexibility. Okay, so from here, from the nice standing position, what I want you to do, we're gonna breathe in. You're gonna go both arms up all the way to the ceiling. Keep your feet right where they are. Reaching up, reaching up. 
Okay, like someone now I want you to feel like someone's pulling your shoulders up. You're getting yanked up from the floor. Come up onto your toes, balls of the feet, not toes, balls of the feet coming up, 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 high as you can. Okay, I'm gonna go as high as I can. Now imagine keeping your head right where it is, dropping the heels down slow, dropping the heels down slow, getting this massive stretch all the way in the back, and relax. Good. Okay. Still watch from the side. I'm going from the side. Bend your knees, feet, hands on these little bones in the back of your pelvis. Okay, you're gonna push those bones forward here, bending your knees, leaning back. Okay, this is gonna stretch your abs, stretch your lower back. So I'm pushing forward here. I'm opening up the front. I'm gonna lean my head back if I have a good neck. And I'm just gonna open that up as much as I can. Yeah, I'm kinda of showing off. Breathe in. Exhale. Oh, yeah, nice. Ah. Breathe. All right, we're gonna do a little balance and a little stretching standing up. Okay, so we're still gonna work out a neutral stance, right? Feet around the knees and shoulders. I want you to shift your weight into your right leg, okay? Lifting your left leg for single leg stand. Taking this left leg, stepping as far forward as you can, slow-mo. For one of my favorite stretches, the high lunge. My front knee's bent. Back legs locked out. This glute, the straight leg, fired up, okay? You gotta fire that glute up, getting that stretch. We're gonna add a level element today. So here, the leg that's straight, it's my right leg. My right arm's gonna come up, and I want you to feel like we just felt where someone's pulling you up, and you're lengthening right here, this whole side. You know where they seam your shirt? That part of your body. Reaching up like someone's pulling you, reaching up like someone's pulling you. Breathe in, exhale, drop the back heel down for a massive cat stretch, reach higher, breathe in, bring your other hand up, grab your fingers of the right hand and pull the fingers back gently for this massive flexion stretch here. For all my ballet dancers, go ahead, arch your back. Arch your back for a massive extension, everything. Okay, we're gonna breathe in. Exhale, releasing the arms, releasing the leg, stepping forward. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yes, I do my own sound effects, I know. All right, so the other leg, okay? For me, I'm gonna be stepping forward with my right leg. So I'm shifting into my left leg, single leg stand. Single leg stand, and I'm stepping forward slow-mo. Ah! I almost fell over, okay. Front knee's bent, back leg is straight. This glute of the straight leg fired. When it turned on, rock hard glutes, you'll feel a big stretch in the straightened leg for me, it's my left. Okay, I'm gonna breathe in. Exhale, reaching up all the way, reaching up all the way, good. Breathing. Okay, upon inhale, I'm gonna exhale, dropping my back heel down. Ooh, big, big calf stretch. Keep that front knee forward. Breathe in. Upon exhale, reaching up with the opposite arm my right arm. I'm going to grab my left fingers, pull them down for an extension stretch here. Good. Breathe in. Exhale for my ballet dancer. It's going to arch my back in this big, massive stretch through everything. Hold. Breathe in. Exhale, releasing the arms. Stepping forward with some magic grace. Do, 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 do. Watch this, folks. We're going to stretch and balance at the same time, okay? So I'm going to start on the right leg. I'm gonna shift my way into my right leg. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into balance. It's called coupe right here. So I'm gonna come up, coupe, right? Yeah. For this position, yogis call it tree. I'm gonna take my leg that's up. For me, it's my left leg. I'm gonna reach out and straight. I'm gonna pull my toe back and I'm gonna stretch. If you can't balance, put your foot on the ground, pull your toe back and stretch. If you can balance, keep that foot up. Now, if you really want to challenge, bring that foot up, bring that foot up, bring that foot up, bring that foot up. Can you reach and grab your toe? Can you reach and grab your toe? I got it. Ah, good. Holding, 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 holding. And cramp. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, breathe. All right, other leg, okay? So, left leg, shifting in. Check my balance. Coming into coupe. Coupe is when the toe's down. Coming up is a position of ballet. I don't know its name. Yogis call it tree. And for us, we're gonna kick that out. Toe's gonna be up, 
pull that toe back so much you feel a stretch. If you can't balance, bring your heel down. If you can, balance here. If you're feeling good, bring it up, 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 bring it up. Reach, 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 reach for the toe. I got it. Ooh, nice. Coming down nice and slow and relax. Good. <sighs> okay, another one that's sort of like a balance is we're gonna be in a neutral stance. Step open for one length squat stance, two stride lengths for straddle. Okay, from straddle, I'm gonna shift my weight over to the right. I'm gonna pivot on my left toe. So I'm pivoting on my left toe. This is called empty stance. Now this is similar to the one we just did, but not the same. So I'm pivot here, right? I'm gonna bend my knee and I'm gonna shift my hip over into this right hip. So I'm shifting my hip over. You'll feel your hamstring stretch shifting over. Still keep a lot, nice, long, tall posture. Don't fold forward at the waist. The more that you shift your hip into this left leg, the more stretch you're gonna get. Good. Okay, to come back, pivot on the toe, shift your weight back in the straddle. Breathe in, exhale, shifting left. Twisting on this foot here, good. Holding, keep shifting that hip as much as you can. Shifting, shifting, shifting. The more you shift, the more you stretch, folks. I like that. Okay, breathe. Exhale. One more breathing in. Exhale. Coming together. Very nice. All right, classic PE stretch. If you need to grab something, go ahead, grab something. But we're gonna stand on one leg for flamingo. Okay, so grab the ankle. Don't grab the top of your foot. Don't grab your toes. That pulls on your ankle here. Now the trick is, I wanna tuck my hips underneath. I don't need to pull my knee excessively far back as much as I need to tuck my hips. That's gonna get a real big quad stretch in this muscle right here called your rectus, rectus femoris. The only quad muscle that attaches to your hip bone. It's Evan Roos of the science guy. Okay, relax. Whew. All right, switch. You can do it, folks. You can balance on one leg, grab your ankle. I've seen a lot of people. Some people like the wall for confidence. So if I'm on the wall, sure, but while you're at the wall, try to take your hand away. Try to stand without. I'm breathing. Inhale, exhale, and relax. So you might not realize it, folks, we just stretch pretty much every muscle in our bodies. Okay, so I wanna end today back in that standing position, the ancient Chinese secret here. Okay, real quick, I gotta move quick, okay. Feeling my feet, knees are bent. Tucking, space in the armpits, lifting, chin relaxed. I wanna bring my hands in front of you. Okay, close your eyes, breathe in, exhale. We've been working with nourishment a lot this week. When you're breathing in, imagine you are bringing in the energy that you need. It's a visualization, folks. I'm bringing in the energy. Whatever you need to do today. Clean, shop, do more workout videos, whatever you need, you're breathing in and exhale. If you like to study science, we now know that you're breathing in more than just oxygen, okay? It's not just oxygen, though oxygen is very important. Inhale, exhale. Also, when you focus on your breathing, you are focusing on your nervous system and relaxing it. Hold, slow your breathing down. My advice today is to stand more. We sit for everything. Stand more. And it has this metaphysical effect of standing up for yourself. Standing up for your health. What you believe in. The things that are valuable to you. The more that you stand up for them, guess what? The more they happen. Okay, inhale. Exhale. All right, I think I nailed it on time. Go help us give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. I think the camera's gonna cut out, but I really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for bearing with me today. This is core cardio and deep stretching. I'll be back tomorrow for lower body strength training. With that, I'm Coach Russo, and this is You'll Be Fit Forever.
Peace.